all right boys welcome back um today i'm gonna be showing you guys five easy tips that will improve your editing speed in less than 10 minutes 10 minutes is all it takes this will be so easy and the tips that i'm going to tell you will help you out a lot so let's get into the video okay so for the first tip first tip right here it's, it's, it's the settings something with the settings okay so what you want to do is go to the settings tab right here and these three right here, the replays turn all of these off. This removes your input delay because your system doesn't have to worry about like recording the playback and just in case you want to go back to your uh, your replay. So turn all of that off and it remove some of your input delay. This right here is kind of like a two-in-one. Okay, so if for some reason some of you got to still on Legacy, uh, maybe you guys should consider switching to Linear. Linear is like, it's just better movement for editing and Expo is just not... Expo is just not really good for editing, so maybe you should switch to linear. But that's not the tip. That's just like just in case any of you are still on Expo, maybe you should switch if you're trying to get better at editing. So yeah, I'll make sure you're on that. Then the actual tip is um make sure you guys are on. Hold up, let me see where it is. I think it's on this right here. Confirm edit on release. Make sure you guys have this on. If you guys are a single bind editor, if you have double bind edits, that's good because double bind edits are also fast. But for the single bind editors out there, uh, if you guys have edit on release, like you don't have to confirm, you don't have to confirm. Like you just, you don't like. I have the same confirm and select. Wait, I have the same edit and confirm. So like I edit with L1 and confirm with L1, but that's only when I reset. So like when I reset, I have to edit, select and like reset is weird but when you have edit on release you can just press two buttons you don't have to confirm it you you can just you can just do it edit so that will help you out a lot and you can just you'll be really fast at editing and yeah that's the second tip on to the next also this this new thing i'm about to say the, um this is not really a tip it's just like a heads up like if you're if you're if you want to edit fast, that doesn't mean you have to have a fast edit sense. My edit sense is only 2.2, and I'm a fast editor myself. But so I see some people with like a three, three, uh, a 3.0, 3.3 editing speed. Just because you want to edit fast doesn't mean you have to have a fast editing speed. It's like it's not what you want. Trust me. So like I have a low editing sense. Like low editing sense means you're more consistent. Like with edits, like if you have a fast editing sense, you'll be all like all over the place. Like instead of just being chill like this, like see if I had a fast editing sense, I'll be like all over the place. Uh, except for like having a a low editing speed, you can be more consistent. You don't have to move your stick that much. Like you could just move it like slowly, and you could still edit. Like you won't mess up as much as you would on a fast editing sense. All right, I don't know if that makes sense, but I hope that like clears up some like air. Like I hope that makes sense a little bit to some people. So yeah, try try to have a low editing sense so you can be more consistent. And for another example for like the slow editing sense, it's like when you have a slower editing sense. Like in my 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 most recent uh, tips and tricks tutorial, I like I like explain like the crosshair, watching your crosshair when you edit. So like seeing your having your crosshair in like the middle so you can make the like the tiniest adjustments like the lower your sensitivity is for editing like the easier it's going to be con to um control your your crosshair like if i have a look i'm gonna show you guys see if i want to let's say if i just started i wanted to edit fast i put my editing sense all the way up to like a three okay it'll be harder for me to edit to like control my control my speed like i don't know i can't like I'm all over the place like it's not going to be easier to control your your crosshair like to watch it because it's going to be all over the place like editing like it's not going to be that easy it might and like it might feel comfortable to some of you but trust me the more consistent you are like you can be way more consistent on a, a lower lower editing speed because like it's hard to like keep track of your crosshair when it, like you're moving all over the place and all that so like just keep that in mind okay for the next tip is speed pads every time you're warming up you're not doing nothing if you're not 1v1 you're not playing pubs use speed pads okay speed pads help you so like what speed pads do it increases your speed of your running so like when you're when you're like editing 
it's like faster so the more I can't I can't really explain it the more you practice speed pads like it's the fact the more things you'll be able to do on speed pads the more easy it will be on like regular speed because like I promise you once I take these off it's gonna feel so slow sorry I don't I don't really use speed pads that much but I just know it helps so I use it sometimes when I'm like not feeling like the game like if I'm like feeling like a little bad like I won't use speed pads but like yeah I just got on so excuse the editing I'm not really good right now so yeah the more edits you can do on your speed pads the more easier it will be on regular sense so let me show you let's see you gotta respawn I'm gonna respawn and take it off so like after I say like five minutes using the speed pad just like do every edit that you would usually do and once you take it off you'll feel so slow trust me like your game will feel so slow you'll be able to do like every edit just you'll be more consistent like you have more time to like think about what you want to do it's like easy you might mess up a little bit because you're used to like tapping your buttons fast but i'm telling you once you get like the hang of it like okay so if you're used to like spamming your buttons because when you when you touch the speed pad you're gonna have to spam your edits really fast and like you're gonna get used to spamming your buttons faster on a normal sense so you might end up editing faster or you might end up messing up it, it depends but the more practice you do on the speed pads the more better you'll be so just keep that in mind okay for the fourth tip uh it's like kind of a practice but it will increase your editing speed like okay so everybody knows the faster you click your buttons the faster the edits will be right so the one thing i do i practice my spam edits so like just editing one thing at a time really like helps like see how fast you can really click your buttons and how fast you can get the edits off so like doing this like just spamming your edits will increase like try to do this for like 30 seconds straight this is what i usually do just spam edits just spam edits like see how fast you can click it just like keep doing that and like once you like actually get into like a real like once you start actually like free building with the edits you'll it's like gonna be it's gonna be easy like you're gonna be clicking your buttons really fast you're gonna be used to the motion like like spam edits really help because like <laughs> try to like think of like doing your spam edits on doing like regular edits like 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 triple edits you know like i can't really explain it but like the more the faster you click your buttons the faster you're going to be able to add it so keep doing spam edits see how fast you can click your buttons in like 30 seconds so like just keep doing this for like a good 30 seconds without messing up you'll feel more consistent when you actually like start editing for real and yeah just work on your how fast you can tap your buttons and yeah on to the next tip and for the last tip uh kind of like sums everything up is your dead zone your dead zone is like okay let me think of how am i going to put this in an example okay so if i have a wall right i want to edit this whole i want to edit like this right okay if i had a high dead zone if i had a really high dead zone it would take me a lot of effort to get from point a to point b right so i would have to move my joystick harder to get from point a to point b if i had a low dead zone i would have to take no effort it'll be it'll be easy like that just straight like that i wouldn't have to move my joystick that much like i can just look okay another example like if i wanted to turn like just go like this on a low dead zone a really low dead zone i wouldn't have to do any i can just i can just literally pluck i can pluck my joystick and it will just move rather than having a high dead zone i would have to literally like move my i would have to really move my joystick so it can do something going like all the way around i would have to literally force my joystick to go all the way around okay so that if that goes for editing it's going to be easier for you to edit right you can just have you can just have the the slightest motion on a on a low dead zone you can just edit like that rather than having a high high dead zone you have to like It'll take you a minute to edit this. You're gonna be like, it's gonna be like really stiff rather than like really quick, like sharp, kinda. So I play on a 5-5 five five dead zone. So I don't have to move my stick at all. Like I can just, I can just edit. I don't have to worry about how hard I touch my, my joystick. I can just edit straight off the bat like that. And let me, let me show you a high dead zone. I'm gonna put my dead zone on 40. Let me, let's say I'm on a 40 dead zone. It's gonna look like I'm moving like a snail. 
like look it's i'm moving my my stick so hard like let me try to edit like it's hard for, i can't move down like it's hard so like it goes for like building too like i can't really like move like i'm stuck in one place like it's hard to move so yeah that's an example if you have make sure you have like a lower dead zone if you have a high dead zone you might want to put it down yeah but mine is all the way down so i have like the the most quickest movements i can get with the edits and you know i can just i don't have to worry about anything i can just edit if i want it's really easy so yeah just practice these five tips let me know if this helped anybody if it did make sure you guys hit the sub button and the like button comment what was your favorite tip and make sure you guys are using code raid dash jersey in the fortnite item shop and yeah i'm out